So what are the specs on these gram lights? Eighteen by nine and a half plus thirty-eight offset. So it, it already is quite aggressive, but compared to my RPF ones that I was running before, the difference is only going to be like three. I think three millimeters more outwards from the hub. If that makes sense, because with the RPF ones I was running eighteen seventeen by nine plus thirty-five. But these are by nine and a half plus 38. So even though these are a little bit wider by half an inch, the higher offset kind of counteracts that a little bit. So these are only going to stick out three mil further. And on the RPF ones, I was running a 235 tire, and these are 225. So these do have a little bit of stretch, and I'm hoping that that gives it even more clearance. So I won't have to do any crazy modifications to make these fit in the front. If I didn't have Brembo's and didn't need any spacer at all, then these would probably fit super easy, just with a little bit of extra camber in the front. In the rears, I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to add a little bit more camber. I do have camera arms in the back, but when I swapped out the RPF ones, I kind of zeroed out the camber in the back a little bit so i'm gonna to have to put more camera in there because these are a lot lot bigger than those all right so i got the wheels on there I'm just a little dusty right now but for the lug nuts i got these raised durnut lug nuts in red so that's what i'll be using for lug nuts but i just have them fit on there right now and if you look, they do clear the Brembo caliper by a decent amount. So really, if I need to, I could step down to 10 mil spacer, but I'm trying to avoid that because ex installing extended studs on the 8th gen SI, it's kind of a pain. It either requires you to take out the, the hub itself or grind things down to make clearance for you to be able to fit those into the holes. But I'm going to test it out with the 15 mil spacer on there, and hopefully it all turns out okay. Alright, so here's what they look like right now. Looks like I might have to go a little bit lower on the coils, but it's not even poking that bad, actually. I might only have to add, like, half a degree of camber to make these work. But man, I love these wheels. I do have the center caps. I'm gonna put them on after I finish installing all the wheels. But, I don't know, should I go lower? Right now I got like a one finger gap, solid. But I do have plenty of clearance. And if I add a degree of camber, I honestly I could probably drop it another inch. So I am going to lower the front coils. I have about I have like an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch left before I actually hit the preload. So I'm gonna go ahead and count these threads and lower this side until I can't, lower this side until it hits this collar. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Here it is. Once I lowered it a little bit, I think this right height is perfectly fine. Sorry, I'm doing this in my garage. I don't have much room. I'll go ahead and take this outside later when I'm all done. I'll see what it looks like in the sun, but the black, black, silver, and red theme, I love it. Can't wait to see what this thing looks like outside. So I'm doing the back now. I already did the other side 
And what I learned is that I am gonna have to put a little bit more negative camber on the rears. So that's what I'm gonna do. The other side fits surprisingly well. I didn't need too much more camber, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it real quick. Here is my Megan Racing camber kit. I'm just going to take this bolt out, loosen up this top nut, and give this about seven turns inward, so to the right. And that'll get that should give me all the clearance that I need to fit the gram lights. Working on the front camber right now. And I basically just got it to where the wheel lines up almost flush with the fender. That's not even maxed out on my camber plate. I still could go more, but I think that's enough camber already. And if I need to, then I'll just add a little bit more. Time for the finishing piece, the raised center caps. To line these up, I'm just gonna line the bottom with the valve stem. Push it in, and we're good. So I got the car pulled out of the garage with the wheels on. And here's how they look. I love them. Usually I'm not a fan of black wheels on a car because they tend to kind of just disappear when you're taking a video or a photo. But the stickers, the lug nuts, the red Brembo brake calipers, it all kind of makes the wheel pop more than just a flat black wheel would and also the fact that it's gloss is nice too because it has good reflections on them and the fitment the fitment is actually really really good for the spec i was expecting it to be almost too aggressive but these actually fit fine and if you're not running a spacer or Brembo's in the front, you're gonna be, you're gonna be chilling, honestly. Cause te technically I actually have 20 mil with the spacer in the front because I have a five mil spacer behind my rotors to center the rotor on the brake caliper. Technically this is an additional minus 20 offset in the front. So this would be more like a plus 18 so I think if you get plus 38, you'll be fine. You probably won't even need to add much camber to the front. <clears throat> you'll probably have to roll your fenders or cut out the little tab, but that's just a given if you want to have any type of good fitment on these cars. And on the back, I do have slightly more camber than I would like. My guess is that I'm at like two and a half degrees in the back, maybe three. Which is a little much for my taste, but I think it's okay. And if I really wanted to reduce the camber, as you can see, I could still stick my fingers in between the tire and I could also shave the fender a little bit on the rears and that'll give you more space. But I think it's fine like that. I don't drive this car that much anymore so I'm not worried about the camera wear on the tires but overall I am super happy with these the only thing I'm missing are red valve stem caps but I'll go pick those up eventually they're not that expensive I think those would really set the wheel setup off even more so I'm super excited to have these wheels on the car one of my dream wheels and I think they fit the car perfectly. So that's gonna be it for this little video. I have some more stuff coming. I have this carbon, I have this carbon grill that I'm going to be respraying and putting on the car soon. So that'll be my next video. And I hope you guys learned a little bit from this video. Hopefully it helps out anybody who's interested in getting these wheels or these specs i did my best to research it before i couldn't find that much information on it but here here we are now um hopefully this video can help somebody out and hopefully you guys subscribe and enjoy the content bye